we're at the final part of the Mojo commentary. At least new game mode, anyway. Again, I'll get around to golf mode later. I'll get around to new game plus when the time comes. But we'll see. So, what are we seeing here? Ah, the shield power up. So yes, the shield power up, as I said, allows you to destroy virtually anything, any hazard. But to be truthful, if you already have the Prime Ball and you got the World 6 power up, you're already capable of doing that. So now that I have now that I have the Spectrum power up um, equipped onto this ball, I'm gonna put it to good use. So let's use our unlimited turbo and knock out these knock out these blocks one by one. My goodness, look at the textures on those. Dang, everything looks everything either looks choppy or pixelated just because of the resolution. Seriously. I I hope this game ends up getting a remaster because it it desperately desire it desperately requires it. It deserves it. It deserves it after all the good it's given me, and the fact that we, you know, we're at the end of the main portion of the game. This indeed shows. It shows my adrenaline, my guts, my determination to get this done. Oh, can't go through there unless if I've got yellow. No way to get through. Oh duck! All right. Now, if we were doing New Game Plus, I would be able to just destroy those death blocks and just get down to business, but because we can't do that... Ha! Ha, I saw what I did there. I was turbo- Whoa! Whoa! No! You don't do that! You don't do it! You just don't! No! No! Oh my goodness. Oh, ah, ah. Dog. I really don't like the difficulty of this game. I really don't like the difficulty of this game. I really don't like the difficulty of this game. I really don't like the difficulty of this game. Dang, now that made me lose the tr Oh wait, that's what I was saying. I was turboing to the beat. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, come on. Uh, where do I go next? Oh, I've got to do this twice. No, I don't want to do this twice. No, oh. Oh. That was a hazard. Oh, it's not a death block. It's not a death block. Yay. I can get through the level. Yay. Now I just gotta avoid these buggers. <laughs> no! Uh, well, that's better than nothing. That's better than nothing. I mean, at least this game is not balls to the wall difficult, but still. Seriously. This is not what I expect out of a puzzle game involving balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I had to. I'm sorry if I've been like a broken record this this commentary, but at this point you can tell I've kind of lost. I've kind of lost words to really talk about this title, because by this point I've virtually talked about everything that I necessarily could discuss. All that I can really talk about is just each puzzle. That's really it. There's nothing good on the news. There's nothing there's nothing major going on outside except for the fact that it's raining outside my window. Oh sorry, it's a raining outside my window. But still, I don't know. I just don't know. Ugh. The fact that these guys just get Ugh. I swear that this I swear that this ball is a female. There's no reason why these hunter spheres would be constantly going after her. But that makes me wonder, though, who would this multicolored woman be? She would have to be these four colors, and strictly these four colors alone. I just don't know. Hmm, uh, what do we do here? Oh, we need the key. Oh, crap. 
So, I'd like to go and talk about this background, I mean, this design for a bit. Because, um, you know, at first, you know, we had the lovely, um, we had that lovely design that was basically just, uh, what was it? Oh. Well, that's a nice way to get around the enemy sphere. So yeah, at first, you know, we had that 50s diner, then we had a 60s diner. And now look at us. Now we're going through this level, and that's actually the easiest way to get to the- WHAT?! Are you ducking kidding me?! <laughs> what?! Oh, man! Well, at least I got my green. But yeah, but yeah, you know, we had our 50s and 60s diners. Now we have a test level design, test level grid squares. It's as if they kind of got bored with the with the tiling here and they just said, duck it. We don't know what to deliver. Just make this and just, uh, and just uh, I don't know, have us enjoy ourselves or something. That sounds like something out of a song. Um, oh, Michael Jackson's off the wall, right. Gotta leave that 9 to 5 right off the shelf, and just enjoy yourself. Fun fact, I don't actually listen to- I've never really listened to the Off The Wall album. If only because, um, I don't know, I guess I- I, well, I never had it while growing up. I had- I- I do- I mean, don't get me wrong, I do have the history, um... I have the History and Live in Bucharest um, DVD videos, but aside from that, I really don't have anything else. You know, I used to have the Bad Album in uh, CD form. Uh, we never had Dangerous. Uh, I don't think we ever had um, History either. We, we, we kind of locked out here at, um, well, at least while, at least during my time. At least during my time, during the, uh, during the 90s and 2000s. And, and, you know, thanks to YouTube, Vivo, um, and a whole bunch of other networks, oh, even iTunes especially, you know, I, you know, I've been able to get used to Michael Jackson's music once more, but kind of in a more impractical method. Do you want to know how I first got exposed to Off The Wall? Saint Pepsi. Saint Pepsi had to introduce me to, um... It's off the wall through means of through means of that lovely track enjoy yourself If you haven't seen the music video for enjoy yourself, please give it a watch It's basically the moon singing a song while listening. I mean while it, it, it You remember the footage from it's a McDonald's commercial. I don't actually know what what decade that's from I'm assuming it's the 80s but yeah Enjoy yourself is basically just a big anus McDonald's ad, which I, I I don't take for granted. I actually like that. I appreciate that it is a McDonald's ad. You know, there used to be a time where McDonald's was delicious. The only thing I feel that McDonald's has got going for it right now is it's uh well it's actually actually it's commercials. I feel that the only thing that's really going for it right now is its commercials. Cause um yeah, cause uh, the, the the um that honeymoon yeah, that honeymoon slash just married commercial that features that new song Lean on Me, which was released I think in twenty thirteen. That that you know, that was a that was a lovely um that was a lovely moment. Uh, of course you, you you know Give me back that Valerie fish! Give me that fish! Ooh. Yeah, that one I also have to deliver absolute praise to. I love that one. What if it were you hanging up on this wall? If it were you and that fish, you wouldn't be laughing at all. Oh, wait, no. It, 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 no, if you were that fish. <laughs> what did I say? If you were in that fish? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, final bonus round of the game. <laughs> yep. We only have a minute, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll be able to do this in less than that. Assuming that we can prevent getting hurt by the uh, death blocks. Because there are more... D yeah, there's a lot of death blocks this time. It's like they want to kill you in this game. 
It's like they want to murder you in this game. No, no, I just say no to that. I say duck all. So please make sure that you break. Don't try to rush things. If you are a speedrunner, just don't care about it if you're doing any percent. If you're doing max percent, I would say don't care about it either because... Ma Here's the thing. In a max percent mojo speedrun, and I cannot stress this enough, a max percent mojo speedrun involves you simply only getting um, the the power the bonus infusers and the, and the ball power. That's all you need to do. In any other case, you do not need to actually do the stage six unless you need some extra energy. That's it. That's all I ask. Do you think I'd probably ever do this at a speedrunning marathon? Ugh, highly, highly unlikely. There's no way I would do that unless if it were um, versus mode. And now we are introduced to the kill enemy power-up. The greatest power-up in the game. You want this power-up. If you want to survive in this game, that's exactly what you need. And, oh man, this is going to be painful. Uh, uh. Do I get to show off how it works in action, or do I have to kill an enemy sphere for that? Nope. There you go. Ah! Jeez. I honestly did not expect an enemy sphere. But at least a kill enemy power-up does destroy enemy spheres. So, I am at least appreciative that we can handle the hunter spheres in the best regards. Oh, uh, just wait till we get to level 100. Oh, man. Man, you're gonna be flipping your fish when you see it. It is so astounding as to how powerful it can become. It only gets crazier and crazier over time. That is a fact. Now, you gotta be really strategic with which enemy spheres you kill. One false move can cost you the game. So what I'm going to do here is not what I meant to do. Crap. Actually, no. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Or did I? Ah! Yeah, because I need to figure out a way to get up onto that, um, to get up onto one of the ramps. Because if, if I want to be able to beat this level, I have to be able to do that, so... I forget how I do this. To be truthful, I really don't know. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. St I think I keep myself stuck here for a while because I really don't. Th this one kind of stumped me for a bit when I first played it. And that's not how you do it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> Oh, jeez. You know, this this awesome rap music, just, this, is, this is exactly what I needed. I needed a rap beat just to go with, just to go with this torture of a level. To be truthful though, it makes so much sense that they would use this as, as the music. Ah, all right. That's the, that's the enemy sphere you want to destroy. Because the only way to get up there is if you go up that ramp. To my knowledge. To my knowledge, the best way to do it is to kill that one, avoid these enemy spheres, and then figure out a way to get up there. You have to basically curve the ball. There you go! You got it! Ugh. And there's the spectrum power up. Thank you. And now you're given a final, um, yeah, you're given that last uh, kill enemy power up. Use it wisely, because one false move, and it, again, it could cost you the entirety of the level, and, oh, oh no, oh no, duck. Uh, but can I do this, knowing, knowing what I've got here? Uh, nope. I've lost too much energy. There's no way out. Only a game over will save me. Because it grants me the ability to completely retry the level. 
I almost had that. It was all because I killed the wrong enemy sphere. I mean, hunter sphere. Seriously. Duck the difficulty of this game. Come on, Atlas Ball. Help me out. Give me, give me some love. Yay. That still confuses me as to how the Atlas Ball is capable of doing that, by the way. It never made any sense. Honestly. Honestly, never did. By the way, I noticed that there's just, like, little uh, pieces of, like, blocks just hanging out. Like, like, they're just floating. They're not even, they're not even a part of the machine that this is supposed to be a part of. What the duck kind of artwork is this? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's lovely, but still. It's just hovering out of, it's just hovering out of nowhere. I don't know what to say. I've got something to say, by the way, about that, um, about that, that you know, that little tube. It looks like Swiss cheese. Maybe that was what they were. Ah! Maybe that's what they were going for. Who knows? Oh wow! What a Dick Cheney move! What a serious Dick Cheney move! No, duck that! Duck that! That's bad level design. That is seriously bad level design. Why would you have a hunter sphere literally right where? Why would you have a hunter sphere literally right where a teleporter is? Not even I'm crazy enough to do that in my own games. No, no, that's that's some Kaizo. I can number or something. No, no, duck, duck that, duck that. <laughs> no, just no. <laughs> oh, I almost fell there too. I know you can't see me right now, but I'm bobbing my head. I'm sorry. This rap beat just, just this rap beat just has me. I'm sucked into the I'm sucked into the rap music. Somebody remix this track with Bill Cosby. You, you know what you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to necessarily have to do it, but hey, if I have to, I'll gladly do so. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it here. I heard an uncle named Stewie, and he used to sell bicycles. Go, 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 what you got there? A oh, big stupid doo doo head. What do you like to play? Pokemon, 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 with a Pokey in the morning. What do you like to play? Pokemon, 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 with a Pokey in the morning. If it goes out and it goes out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry for whoever has to. Whoa! Oh, I think I just wanted to show off. Yeah, that, that that's the death pit. But yeah. Actually, no, I think that's the quickest way to just get to these ice blocks. So, <laughs> nothing gained and nothing lost. Except for health. I have less health than I came in with, but hey. It's not as if it doesn't come back for level 100. Third to last level. Hmm, I wonder how hard this will be. Oh, not hard at all. Just gotta get rid of a whole bunch of ducking blocks while avoiding the diodes and all these death blocks that don't seem to fit anywhere. Why? <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a good challenge, but this this is a bit unforgiving. Don't you don't you agree? I mean, look at what I have to deal with here. All. I mean, I mean, it's like wherever you look, it's either it's either you're going in one direction or it's death. There's no, there's no in between. There's no in between. All you have to do is just swerve around everywhere. Why? No. All right. Uh, 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 uh. It's okay. It's okay. My coconut ball is safe. All right. Looks as if we got. I think. I think we're in the. Yeah. Wow, I also noticed there is no, there are no yellow, um, yellow blocks. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, this level has absolutely no yellow blocks. Which is kind of a shocker for, for you know, for like the, the 
third to last level of the game, you would think that they would be calling all the shots, having everything out and about, but no. That's not the case here. You actually do need that key. And... Duck! Ah, <laughs> the super fast now, too! That's not good! Ah! Uh. So you have to use the platform there. There is no in-between. But I guess it- Ugh! Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't blame myself for restarting. That makes so much sense. Oh jeez, jeez, oh jeez. Yeah, I think I have commentators blocked today. Because I don't really have anything major to talk about. All I'm talking about is just the good rap music, listening to footage, <laughs> I mean, watching the footage, and talking about balls. It's like there's nothing I can truly talk about today. <sighs> I guess that's how June 28 just happens to be for me. It's a good day, but unfortunately there's not really anything to do. I guess that's the issue with boredom. But bear in mind, Mojo's not a boring game. Contrary to how boring this commentary might be, this this game is not boring by any means of the word. Again, you're gonna be on your seat for hours just trying to figure out how to duck to beat some of these levels. And the fact that I've been able to kind of show them off in a rather decent manner, even though I'm kind of failing at the last few worlds uh, a good bit. I mean, at least I'm not at least I'm not doing too good or too bad. And, and, you know, for somebody that didn't really play the game too much um, over the past six years, at least, it, 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 it at least goes to say that I'm not, I don't not like this game. I really, I still love this game as much as I did back in 2003 and 2004. I still think that this is one of the best titles that has come out of the, um, that has come out of 2003. I still, I still do think it is one of the best puzzle games, but I do believe that it does deserve a remaster and it deserves a, an overhaul to make it less difficult than it already is. Did that, and it, did that Hunter Sphere try to phase through the lock bar, I mean, the lock, um, block? Lock block. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You gotta love those clouds, by the way. Hmm. I wonder if I can get through this with ease. Well, that's one way to put it. Whoa! <laughs> I truly... I really don't like the way that these enemy spheres are. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're going back and forth like it's nobody's business, but still. This is kind of scary for me. Because I'll be truthful. When I was recording this footage, I did not expect that it would be as painful as it is here. I mean, again, when you play when you play a game such as Mojo, you basically have to always keep your guard up because you don't know what to expect. I mean, look at that! Just to get that ice block, you have to phase through enemies. How am I supposed to do that? Let's just say it. There is no easy way. There will never be an easy way to do that. So, just take your time and get the other blocks while you can. And please, for duck's sake, keep your Spectrum Power Up Coconut Ball intact. You need it. You truly do need it. But, we're out of there. We're out of there, and we're about to get what is debatably the greatest power-up of all time, which allows us to kill everything. <laughs> which, again, makes the final stage just ducking easy. Ah! What? Oh, wait, I think I know what happened there. I didn't have the kill enemy power-up. How am I going to do this? Do I do this with the coconut ball? Because I really don't remember. Oh, whoop. 
All right. Uh, uh, uh. Way to give me a hard time, game. Way to give me a hard time. And I have to restart the level. Oh, lovely. Oh, I think I see what I'm doing. I, I think I think what I do here is I go back to the platform that had the ice block, kill the two enemy spheres that necessarily have to be decimated, and somehow and somehow fall into the abyss. Yeah, I, I was way too late on that shot. That was a bad, bad shot. Yep, I, I am doing exactly what I was expecting I would do. So <laughs> that is that is good strategy. You want to be able to know how to how to handle these levels after studying them at least whoa, after studying them at least once, so that it doesn't feel as if there's not much you can or cannot do. Ha! <laughs> I like that you can do that, even if even if you have already been destroyed, you can just keep using turbo if you have um if you have the unlimited turbo um, atlas ball. That's awesome. <laughs> That is just way too awesome. But uh, from the looks of it, I think we are just about done with with World Nine because um, from the looks of it, I'm looking at the footage timer and we are literally right at the end. Uh, it, it doesn't look as if we're about to have any extra. Um, yeah, I don't think we have any more restarts after this. Maybe one in level 100, if my memory serves correctly. But that's about it. That's about it. We, we have made it to the end of Mojo, and I'm glad that this game is pretty much over. This this game has a lot of... I, I can't stress enough. This game has a massive lot of challenges that you can't... That, that you can't take for granted. You definitely cannot take for granted. You have to love it. <laughs> you just have to love it. But again, I really, I really kind of wish that there was more to see. I mean, look at this. A purple sky. That's all you get in World 9. Alongside these platforms. I mean, come on. Actually, no, that's not purple. It's violet. But yeah, kill enemy hazards and balls. Yay. But yeah, yeah purple, I mean, violet and yellow kind of goes together well. Kind of like how plum and gold do, but enough of that. We're back to world one, which is just world, which is just level 100. You have 90 seconds to beat it. Yes, the legendary final stage. <laughs> Take it, you. Well, you know, to be truthful, How I Met Your Mother actually came out around the same time as this game. So if I would not be surprised if this was kind of a way to advertise How I Met Your Mother inadvertently. Because let's think of it. Neil Patrick Harris's character... Yeah, that was my retry. Neil Patrick Harris's character of Barney Stinson, he, he says, It will be legend, wait for it, dairy. Yes, legend, wait for it, dairy. Which... Which I, I actually do have a lot of... I have, I have a lot of um, praise for that. that. That indeed always made me smile whenever I would hear it. It's kind of a shame, though, to how I met your mother's over. <laughs> But to be truthful, they, Chuck Lorre could have ended it in a such better way. Because to be truthful, the way that I view it is that... How I Met Your Mother, they could have had Ted and Tracy span out as far as, um, as, far as, as season 10. They could have done a season 10. Heck, if I have to write a script for season 10, <laughs> so be it. By the way, you gotta get that key if you want to handle the rest of the level, and yep, that is the best way to get rid of the Hunter Spheres, and that is the game. If you beat this level in less than 90 seconds, you get all the bonus balls and the power-ups. So yeah, that's it. And you unlock golf mode. Yay! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a fun time playing golf mode. Uh, duck golf in this game. Seriously, golf in this game is the worst. I've never really been able to beat most of the stages under par. I've always done worse. And if you're able to play this game, I mean, if you're able to play golf mode with ease, then be my guest. But 
You're gonna see me have a hard time when we get around to that. But I'm not getting around to that now. No, I'm gonna do that way later. Way, way later. By the way, where's this level in the game? I want to play this level. Uh, maybe I could. Maybe I could make it. Who knows? By the way, uh, yeah, uh, there is a level creator. Let's not forget. So yes, maybe you'll probably see this show up at some point in future time. Maybe. Maybe not. No more than likely. Maybe. I have a. I have a lot of saved levels. From from my old memory cards from Korea and Japan, so yeah, I'll 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 get around to that at some point. Just not right now. Either way, this was my way of saying, finally, a Mojo commentary on YouTube. Why did this take so long? Why did it take over 12 years for Mojo to really get a commentary on this channel? No matter how good or bad it actually happens to be, that's <laughs> that's all I have to ask. But other than that. It's over. It is over. At least for now. We'll be back with we will be back with golf mode in part ten, but part ten will not be coming for a while. And then we'll go to New Game Plus, which I don't know if I want to make that a full part. Or I might just make that like three different parts, but they're all gonna be like I think over like uh, an hour long. Like an hour per like four or five worlds, maybe. At the very most. Other than that though. <laughs> Uh, oh, upper lip. I didn't expect for you to do that. But, <laughs> either way, either way. Th this has been the single player mode for Mojo. I hope you had a good fun, I mean, a good level of fun and enjoyment. This was indeed, indeed, one of the greater moments of, uh, of archiving history, even though it was as mediocre as it could be in the After Dark Hours. With that said, I'm Roya. We'll be back for part 10 at some point. But next time we'll be back with Side Pocket. And I want to say right now, Duck Bizhawk. Uh, I, I recorded all the footage for the Saturn version of Side Pocket 2. Took me over 10 hours to do that. It, it ended up being like about 5 hours and 5 minutes and 18 seconds or something around that. When I went back to replay it, the footage was desynced. I have to record it all over again. Duck the Yaba use core in Bizhawk. Task videos community or whoever the duck works on Bizhawk. Fix the Yaba use core, please. Oh, ha. And this was with it set to the long place profile, uh, long place profile mode. Seriously, seriously, I did not expect that. Ugh. I guess this is why they say for Saturn users on BizHawk, use at your own risk if you're going to do tasses or long plays. Oh, man. Why did I have to get defeated by Minnesota Fat Sun when the game was put in playback mode? Oh, man. Why? Why, 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 why? But you'll be getting those complaints later on when I actually get to the Saturn commentary for Side Pocket 2, Legend of the Hustler, but we'll get to that when the time comes. Either way, hope you enjoyed this After Dark special. <laughs> this was roughly three and a half years long overdue, so I'm glad. Either way, I'm Roya. Have a good day, night, dawn, dusk. Um, midday, afternoon, evening, prime time, late night, after dark, whenever the duck you happen to be watching this video. <laughs> Enjoy, friends.